Hello YouTube, uh, this is where we left off from our last video if you watched that, which was where I made hair, and we made, well we gave it physics, and we modelled it, and I've kind of stylized it a little bit more, give it a nice fringe, okay, what we're going to be making is this, so I'm going to be, I've stuck with boring brown, just because, well, you know what brown hair looks like, so you, you can tell if it's realistic or not. I'm not going to be making it like that. So, first things first, I'm going to have to make a new material. So, add new material, call it what you want, I'll call it hair, or I'll call it, I could call it head because uh, I'm funny. Specular, um, I'm going to focus on the diffuse first. Lambert shade is okay. You want your intensity to be about 0.13. If you've got a lighter hair, you want your intensity to be a little bit more, but you don't want to go over 0.5. You never want to go over 0.5, because otherwise your hair will just glow. Unless you want glowing hair. So if you're doing like sort of neon hair, I don't know. I'm going to stick with 0.13. I said 0.13 thank you your diffuse colour, you can choose any colour you want for this because it's not going to influence the final render because the diffuse colour in the final render is going to be influenced by a texture but I'll cover that in a bit specular best specular is for this it's going to be fong not only because it sounds funny but also because it renders nicely with hair so it's kind of sharp, but not too sharp. So 500, and also a fog texture. So the intensity to zero. A fog texture, um, you can change the intensity on it quite nicely. So what I'm going to do is, after you've set your intensity to zero, the intensity to zero on this is because the intensity is going to be controlled by texture, so anything that's going to be controlled by a texture must be set to zero. Otherwise, it's going to be well, it's going to be interfered with. So, transparency. We want transparency. Oh, forgot the shading bit. You want a bit of translucency because if you've got long hair and you look through your fringe of the sun, you'll know it's that some of it passes through and actually lights up your hair from the inside, which is what that is. So I'm going to set this to about 0 0.2, something like that. Ambient, you don't want too much. Ambient 0 0.7, for example, if you've got sunlight and you've got red light around you, that's what the ambient is. You don't want your hair to grow, to glow, like intense red. You want it to still retain some of its color. Transparency, ray trace transparency is awesome, but it doesn't work with uh, blend textures. Z transparency is good. Alpha zero. Alpha is equal to your opacity. Specular alpha is opacity in specular or areas or areas that are like shiny and reflecting light. Reason we're going to have this as zero is, like I said before, it's going to be influenced by a texture. So that's why mirror. Uh, you could have mirror if you want. I'm not going to because I've got nothing in this area that's going to mirror anything. Um, subsurface guide, I'm going to ignore that, it's not good for hair strand, here it is strand this is new to Blender 2.5 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the minimum which is 0 0.25 and what that does is as the, hairs, as the hair particles get to the tips they get a lot thinner which is what real hair does which is pretty cool Oh yeah, you want tangent shading clicked on. It's clicked on by default, but in case it isn't. Now let's get on to making our textures. I'm going to create a new texture. I'm going to call this one Color Band and Alpha. Yeah, I'm, I'm typing it in British. Um, yeah, I'll create the other one now. This one is going to be specular map. Specular map. What you call it doesn't matter. I'm just calling it that so I know what I'm doing. Clouds. You want to blend. 
they both want to be blend I'll focus on this one first you also want to show alpha and you've got to go to your colors ramp and I'm going to adjust the alpha here now at the very root you want the alpha to be pretty high so either 0.1 or 0.9 something like that then at the tip you want your alpha to be 0 now what this is doing is that it's giving it a bit more realism because as thin as the particles get unfortunately you can't have them as thin as real hair and also even if you did have them as thin as real hair there's nowhere near as many particles that a blender can generate as there is real hair so we have to cheat a little and what we cheat is by making it's because each particle is a little thicker we treat it as about 10 normal hair particles so to make them behave like real particles we make them semi-transparent and the reason for this is because if we make them semi-transparent, I'll just change the tip colour to black, so it fades to black. Change that colour to, uh, I'll make it really dark brown. Really dark brown. Dark. And, where was I? Sorry, yeah. And reason for this is because if we make them semi-transparent, then they'll sort of layer up and look like real hair. Okay, so I'm going to add... I've got that clicked, so I'll add another. And this stop is going to be 0 0.5 because it's in the middle, and it's going to be a light brown. So the hair colour it fades from black at the roots, or really really dark at the roots, to quite light to black at the tips. Except when it gets to the tips, it's also going to fade out. Um, I'm going to click material now and I'm going to click the strands you can't see anything and the reason you can't see anything is because the influence down here it's only mapping to colour I'm also going to map it to alpha and these are the only two things this texture will control so it's mapped to alpha, it's mapped to colour and why is it purple? wait a sec ah I figured it out it's because I made that other one earlier um, you don't want that ticked on. You want that ticked off. So yeah, I've got it influencing my colour. I'll put this back to how it was. Which is really dark. Darker. That's dark enough. Okay, so another thing that I did was down here in your coordinates, it's going to be on generated. You want it as a strand slash particle. So that means it renders the colour band along the length of the hair rather than across your screen, which is what it's going to do otherwise. So we've already influenced the alpha or mapped it to alpha. Now we're going to click on our second um, texture. I'm going to turn it on. This too is going to be a blend texture. And it's going to be exactly the same as the last one except the alpha on this is going to be 100% it's not going to be transparent anywhere and at the tips it's going to be it's going to fade to black at the very tip but at the beginning it's going to be an ever so slightly brown black and we're going to add after we've clicked add we're going to make this a lighter black because if you've looked at hair, when it shines, it doesn't shine white, it shines whatever colour it is. So this is going to be black, so it's going to shine black. Well, not black, sorry. Brown, so it's going to shine brown. Ooh, something like that. Actually, let's have a look at my reference. Because I got this perfect the other time. So, that's sort of more like that, actually. Oh, sorry, speckling that. That's what that looks like. So I was just going to be a little darker than Miranda. Hmm, that's actually nicer. I want it to be a little bit more shiny towards the end. Just imagine this is like a fringe or hair or something. So cut out. And 
that's how it's going to look when it shines it says only in a shiny bit I'm going to click off the colour on the diffuse because this isn't going to touch the diffuse this strand slash particle is going to influence the specular region and it's going to influence the intensity and it's going to influence the colour hardness it's not going to influence because we've set that already uh, intensity it is and colour it is so that's that let's render see what it looks like it's a little dark um, well I've stopped it because I've just been looking back and forth between the reference and our material and I've just forgotten two fundamental things I've forgotten cubic interpolation and I've forgotten tangent shading so let's try this again Bow. Chica. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's better. That's much, much better. I think the only thing left now is to really see how realistic we can get this to look. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of this. Is that going to work? No, it's not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the number of particles Number of particles, no, I'm not going to increase the number of particles I'm going to increase the number of children So where the children are, so that's here Instead of rendering 100, I'm going to render 250 And great thing about this is that I can now go to my material and I can make uh, is that my hair material? That's my hair material. Go down to my strand options and now I can make my root twice as thin. So 0 0.5. And let's render this. See what it looks like. Bearing in mind, this will take the absolute piss to render. And wow, that's better.